In this tutorial, let's look into how to create a text layout in LED Edit. For this tutorial, I'm going to skip the basic steps. If you like to know the basics of LED Edit, please check out my LED Edit Basics tutorial. The links are in the description. Alright, I'm going to create a new project. Okay, to create a text layout, you need to go to the manual layout creator, click on project configuration and select start manual layout which will bring up the manual layout creator. To create the text layout, click on the text production and select input text and type the message you want in this text field. I'm going to type LED edit. To get to the font settings, click on font. Okay, in the font settings window, you can select the font from this font list and you can select the font style from this list and you can change the font size. I'm going to use the default and I'm going to click OK. Now you can place the uh, text layout in the worksheet. To place it, press your left mouse button. As you can see, there are some missing information and there are some access details and missing details. Also, there are some combined characters. Before doing anything, we need to correct these details. To zoom in and zoom out, use your mouse wheel. Uh, you can move the worksheet using this horizontal and vertical scrolling bars. As you can see in the first character, there is a missing line. I'm going to add that missing line. Click on light horizontal or light vertical and I'm going to add pixel LED reference points. It will automatically make these connections. So don't worry about it. We are going to redo the connection later. As you can see there is some missing lines here and right here you can overwrite the existing pixel LEDs. Click and hold your left mouse button and drag your cursor. Make the selection and leave your cursor and leave your left mouse button. To delay pixel LED reference points you need to go to the select tool, right click and select select. Select the pixel or pixels that you want to delete and simply press the delete button. I'm going to remove the excessive detail. Select the pixel LED reference point that you want to delete and press delete. I'm going to add the missing details. Alright, I'm not going to reduce these two characters. We can copy these two characters to here after we do the wiring. To separate these two characters, I'm going to select one of these characters. To select the letter, I'm going to right click and click on select or use the select button on the top. And I'm going to select the character or the letter by clicking and holding my left mouse button and uh, make the selection and release the left mouse button. Now we have selected the letter. I'm going to right click and select cut. Now I'm going to paste the copied character or the letter. Right click and select paste or control V. Alright, I'm going to have two space plus missing details. Now I'm going to add the missing details. Now before we do the wiring or the connections we need to remove the automatically made connections to do that use the select tool right click and click on select tool and select the whole layout and click on delete line or you can use this quick line remove tool click on the quick line remove tool and select the whole layout okay the next step is to do the wiring you have two options you can either use the line tool or you can use the auto LX tool to automatically make the connections on your selection. If you do want to deselect, you can either right click and select deselect or you can use your escape button. I'm going to use the auto LX tool to make the connections. Click on the auto LX tool. To make the connections, I'm going to separate 
each section of the letter and apply different methods on each section. For this first character, I'm going to separate it to two sections, one vertical section, this section, and one horizontal section. For the vertical section, I'm going to apply top left method. Select the method that you want to apply. Click and drag your mouse cursor and make the selection and leave your left mouse button. For the second section, I'm going to use top right connecting pattern. As you can see, we have two different sections in a single character. I'm going to connect these two sections together using a line tool. Click on the last pixel LED reference point of the first section and click on the first LED reference point of the second section. To exit the line tool, simply press the escape button. For the next character, I'm going to divide it to four different sections. One vertical section and three horizontal sections. For the vertical section, I'm going to apply top left connecting pattern. Select the auto LX tool. For the first two horizontal sections, I'm going to apply left into and for the third horizontal section, I'm going to apply top left. Okay, as you can see, now all we have to do is connect these uh, three different sections together. For this third letter, I'm going to uh, separate it to four different sections two vertical and two horizontal sections. For the first horizontal section, I'm going to apply left into pattern. If you don't want to make the selection, press escape button. For the first horizontal section of that character, I'm going to apply top right. And for the second vertical section, I'm going to apply right into. For the last section, I'm going to apply right, right into. Alright, I'm going to connect these sections together by using a line tool. When you are selecting a pattern, connecting pattern from this list, make sure to have the connecting pattern that create the connections with the minimum distance between each one of these LED reference points so that you can use the existing LED strip or LED string without having to extend LED wires. As you can see, the connection that I have made so far have a continuous flow. Having a continuous flow will make it easy to do the wiring of the real product. I'm going to replace these two letters with these two letters. I'm going to exit the line tool and select the select tool and select the letters that I want to paste and right click and select copy and I'm going to deselect by pressing the escape button then I'm going to select the letters that I want replaced and press delete and to paste right click and select paste and press your left mouse button. Alright, I'm going to do these two characters quickly. Okay, now we have made the connections inside the letters. It's time to connect each letters or the characters together. Okay, to do that, I'm going to use the line tool and click on the last pixel LED reference point of the 
previous letter and then click on the first pixel LED reference point of the next letter. Alright, I'm going to do the same to the other letters or the characters. As you can see, I have made these connections between these two uh, last letters so that it has a minimum wire distance between them. Now it's time to connect this text layout to a port. I'm going to exit the line tool and select port from the top shelf bar and place it right next to the first pixel LED of the first character. Now I'm going to uh, press escape and select the line tool again. I'm going to connect the first pixel LED of the first character to the port. To do that, click on the first pixel reference point of the layout and click on the port. Click on escape to exit the line tool. Now we have created our text layout. Now it's time to save it. Go to file and select save as and type a name. Click save and exit the manual layout creator window. To import that layout to the LED edit, go to project configuration and click on import dot cxp. Go to the saved path and select the uh, file that you created and click open. Alright, which will give this message. Click OK. As you can see, this is why we have created a text layout. Now you can apply video effects and record video effects on your text layout. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. If you like the video, please leave a like. If you like my channel, Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial.